planet Earth, the most fertile biosphere in the known universe, home to over 7.5 million species of animal life and more than 200,000 kinds of plants. It is a veritable paradise in a cosmos of inhospitable worlds. But this pristine place is rapidly changing. Over the past 650,000 years, a relatively small time in Earth's history, there have been several different periods of glacial growth and retreat. About 7,000 years ago, a glacial retreat caused by increasing global temperatures led to the emergence of true humans as the dominant species on the planet, starting with the first two Homo sapiens in Africa. The temperature and amount of atmospheric CO2 had been increasing at historically normal levels since then, until the Industrial Revolution in the early 1900s. Since that period, temperature increase and atmospheric CO2 content have grown at an unprecedented rate. This is not the debate, as those are simply conclusions drawn from statistical evidence. The argument is whether or not there is a correlation between man-made greenhouse gases and elevated temperature, or this modern trend of rapidly increasing temperature is influenced to a greater degree by natural variation. In American politics, this conflict has had far-reaching effects on elections since Al Gore brought the issue to the political stage. Those who oppose the argument that climate change is influenced by human activities actually have more evidence to support their cause than you might think. In 2003, researchers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics came to the conclusion that the 20th century is probably not the warmest century over the past millennium, based on ice core samples and other data. However, it should be noted that the lead scientist behind this research is under intense scrutiny for accepting over $1 million from fossil fuel groups for his research. Seven years later, a 2010 study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences Journal concluded that around 450 million years ago, a period of intense glaciation occurred during a time when atmospheric CO2 was five times higher than present-day levels. However, I must also say that this research has recently become unavailable online for unknown reasons. But there is equally convincing evidence which supports the claim that we as a species are having a substantial impact on global climate. Many studies compare data collected from sources such as ice core samples, ancient corals, and tree rings, and show that Earth's climate has warmed at a faster rate in the last decade than any time period in the last 1.7 thousand years. In this past decade, Arctic sea ice decreased by about 13.3% almost twice the amount of decrease per decade as the previous period from 1996 to 2006. These studies and other observations of the impact of elevated temperatures on the world around us have led 97% of climate scientists to agree that climate change is primarily a result of human activity. In conclusion, both the affirmative and opposing sides of this argument have scientific evidence to back up their claims. What we do know for certain is that our species is having a profound impact on the biosphere in more ways than any other organisms before us. Whether those impacts promote the long-term survival of humankind and preservation of our ecosystems is up to you and I.